the volume in this stadium is about to ramp up. There are thousands of Ethiopians on the back straight, and they are all here to watch the men's 5,000 metres. What a lineup this is. Three brothers from Norway. Is it Jakob Ingebrigtsen's time to shine? European champion, but this is different gravy. This is the global competition. Kameli, former African junior champion. Telehun Bekele, fifth in the World Juniors last year. He's the fastest man in the world this year with 12.52. That came in Rome. Watch out for Paul Chalimo, Olympic silver, World Championship bronze. Now that Mo Farah's gone, maybe it's his time for gold. Mukhtar Idris is the defending champion. He hasn't been in great form this year, although he looks better in qualification. Mahanu Bailiu, another former Ethiopian, now representing Bahrain, Asian champion last year, 12.56 this season. Jakob Krop of Kenya, 55.1 on the last lap. And listen to the crowd and watch the introduction for Selamon Borega. Still a teenager, already the fourth fastest in history. And then the third of the three Ingebrigtsen brothers. Philip got a bronze in London over the 1500 metres. Going here over the longer distance. The stage is set for an epic race. That's Heinrich with the moustache, the first of the three brothers to get a European medal. They're all ready for the party to start. There will be noise throughout this 12 and a half laps. It's time for the final of the men's 5,000 metres. <laughs> Salomon Borrega up onto the shoulder of Hassan Mead, and they're already talking to each other, Mukhtar Idris and Salomon Borrega. There will be some team tactics at play here. And don't forget Paul Chalimo. Silver in Rio, bronze in London. His spike came off in the heats. He showed great composure to come through and win his place in the final. Ethiopia first, third and fifth. And all the Ethiopian fans are round by the 1500 star and they are going wild. I hope they realise we're only 300 metres in. We've got over three miles to go. Imagine what the noise will be like on the last lap. Idris first, Chalimo second. Borrega is the smallest of the three Ethiopian figures with the spiky haircut. And Bekele, the find of the season, he's only just turned 20. He's in fifth, and the three brothers, comfortable at the back of the group. Jakob is the taller of the three figures, and his other two brothers have readily admitted and wouldn't mind us acknowledging Jakob, the youngest there with the 1920s matinee idol swept over haircut, is the most talented of the three. And having got his PB for the 15 down to 3.30, if this is tactical, he'll fancy it. And it is the youngest of the three Inga Britson brothers now paying closer attention to the front of the field. Jenny Meadows, the noise here, considering how early it is in the 5,000, is extraordinary. This is an event that's been talked about the whole season long. We've got the Ethiopian challenge. We've got Chalimo, who looks in great shape, haven't we? Edris has come back. He's not looked great. Obviously, the reigning world champion. We've got the Norwegian challenge. We've got the Kenyan challenge. And we've got so other many guys who's made this final. This final took a lot out of a lot of guys to actually make it. The heats were quite tough as well. But um, it started off faster than I imagined. I thought we might have had some of those characteristic first uncomfortable opening laps, but it really looked like there was a definite tactic to get to the front. Don't leave it you know, to that kick finish because I think a lot of these guys will be thinking about Jakob Ingebrigtsen in particular. In that three minutes 30 or the 1500 metres, such is his race. If it's too much of a slow race, he loves those distance races where it starts off quite slow, it speeds up and he's allowed to come through the field. So he'll hope, be hoping that it's not maybe too fast, but 
these boys will be making sure that they run the sting out of the Inga Britsons. There are definite team tactics at play here from the Ethiopians. One, three and four. Bekele leads, the fastest man in the world this year. Idris is the defending champion. And Selimon Borrega is the fourth fastest in history. What a triumvirate of excellence. Lining up here, Paul Chalimo, tracking their every move. And Jakob Ingebrigtsen, just at the back of a little group. The two Kenyans, Kimeli and Krop. Perhaps not amongst the biggest names in Kenyan 5,000 metre running. But they too are still in touch. And we do have two distinct groups working here. Worth giving mention to Mohamed Ahmad, the Canadian. He's managed to go with the pace. And so too is the other American, Hassan Mead. And now Borrega takes it on. 2.39 for the first kilometre. They are determined to turn this into an honest race. And that is why, with just a mile on the clock, we are in pretty much single file. 4.16 for the first mile. This is great running, and this is fast. And the Ethiopians have clearly decided they need to run the sting out of everyone else here. Borrega, Chalimo, Idris and Bekele. Stuart McSwain, that's Heinrich Ingebrigtsen. Stuart McSwain is coming up onto Meade's shoulder. The Australian has had a great season. He's moved on immeasurably since finishing fifth in the Com Games last year. He's got his 1500 PB down to 331. And he now leads a little chase group, including Philip Ingebrigtsen. Heinrich is way off the back. He's arguably not in the shape he was when he won the European title in 2012. Jenny, they're really going for this. This pace is searing. And they're producing some casualties here as they come round with seven to go. Yeah, we spoke, didn't we, in the heats about how the final would go. And we spoke about this being the first World Championship since 2003 that Usain Bolt is not attending. And this is the first championship since 2005, which doesn't feature Mo Farah. Of course, Mo has been dominant for so many years, but Edris took pay to that in London, claiming that gold medal. No one knew what to do when they raced against Mo Farah, but here it's quite different. He's not here. A lot of guys fancy their shot at this title. But this race looks like they're really worried about Jakob Inter Brixen for me, and they're trying to run the sting out of him. Well, this is fast, isn't it? 61.5 for that lap. Jakob Inger Britsen, his brother Philip, doing their best to stay with the pace. Bekele, the fastest man in the world this year, taking his turn at the front. And look at Paul Chalimo. Kameli and Krop are still there, and Jakob and Philip have been talking to each other. I'm not saying it's a full on conversation, but they were acknowledging the tactics between the two of them. The two Norwegians have closed the gap, and perhaps the pace has slowed. Just a fraction as we come round now with five to go. And the slower this gets, Jenny, the more this does play into the hands of the likes of Jakob Inga Britsen. Maybe this is going to turn into a real burn-up. 2.38, it's 7.53 at 3K. And the two brothers, Heinrichs off the back. But these two have reattached themselves. And now Paul Chalimo decides to go to the front. Enough's enough. Let's put the throttle back down and see what you've got. Chalimo looked good, didn't he? He had a great kick finish in the heats. He finished without his shoe. That came off at some point. And even without a shoe, he managed to find a burning kick that no one could live with. So he's at the front, followed by Philip Ingebrigtsen, followed by Jakob. And we've got the Ethiopians, we've got the Kenyans. Everybody's queuing up now. The pace has definitely dropped. 
so many people are back in with this race. You could put a blanket over the first dozen. They started off with a definitive tactic and they've not followed it through. But Rega, remember, is still a teenager. He's run 12.43. Someone has got to take this on. The two Kenyans are still there. So too Mukhtar Idris, the defending champion. Although maybe he looks like he's beginning to struggle just a touch. Perega moves round at the 1500 star and the Ethiopians are going absolutely wild. There's a sheen of sweat on the back of the teenager. And look at Paul Chalimo doing what he's done the entire race, sitting in second as Jakob Ingebrigtsen now boxes Chalimo. And the youngster from Norway tried to give himself an opportunity to do something very, very special. This is gearing up for a huge, huge finish with just over three laps to go. Yeah, still 10 men involved with just three laps to go. 1,200 metres of running. And what will we find in just over 1,000 metres? This looks like it could be a surge to the front there from Ahmed from Canada. He's still in with it with three laps to go. Jakob Ingebrigtsen trying to break the dominance of the Ethiopians and the Kenyans. The crowd respond once more. There's massive talent in this group. Many global medalists, European medalists, some of the fastest men in history. I'm talking about Borrega on the left. The Norwegians in the crowd are getting excited. They still have two in this. Jakob's getting a bit boxed in. There are some elbows flying. And still Paul Chalimo right on the shoulder of the leader, who is Mohamed Ahmed at the moment. And there's a little over half a mile to go. Yeah, 4,000 metres gone now in this 5,000 metre race. Just coming up with two laps to go. It's still the Canadian from the Inga Britson brothers. Chalimo looks promising there in fourth position. Two laps to go in the final of the 2019 men's 5,000 metres. Selimon Borrega, the fourth fastest in history, is on Philip Ingebrigtsen's shoulder. But it's Ahmed, the Canadian, who got his heel clipped there by Jakob Ingebrigtsen, who leads with 700 to go. Paul Chalimo, silver in Rio, bronze in London, has been a shadow on the shoulder of the leader for the entire race. The expatriated Kenyan, who's made a happy life in the United States, is in second place, and there's pumping and barging going on. Jakob Ingebrigtsen got his heels clipped by Borrega. It's understandable. This is the World Championship final. There's a huge amount at stake here. Philip Ingebrigtsen has stepped off the track. Maybe his role was to pacemate Jakob Ingebrigtsen. Coming round now, with just over 400 to go. This is world-class distance running, and there's another bump and bars between Ahmed and Jakob. They take the bell in the final of the men's 5,000 metres. Such heart, such passion. This is great racing. Their eyeballs out, hundreds of miles for years and years, just for this opportunity to shine on the global stage. Jakob Ingebrigtsen has got the bit between his teeth here. Idris, the defending champion, trying to find a way through. So too Borrega. And the fourth fastest man in history is closing. Paul Chalimo is rocking and rolling for the first time. And so too is Ahmed. Jakob looks over his shoulder again. It's Jakob Ingebrigtsen, Salomon Borrega, Mukhtar Idris, the defending champion. What a race. What a finishing prospect. Jakob's got to hang on because Ahmed of Canada's gone past him. Mukhtar Idris, from nowhere, with no form at all, is going to successfully defend his title. It's a 1-2 in glorious fashion for Ethiopia. Borrega takes the silver, and what an incredible bronze medal for Mohamed Ahmad of Canada. Jakob Ingebrigtsen is on the track, inconsolable. He did everything he could. It wasn't to be the fairy tale finish for one of the three brothers, but Mukhtar Idris, from nowhere, has beaten the fourth fastest man in history, Salomon Borrega, and it's a glorious one-two for the proud East African nation. What a race, what drama, and what a finish. We'll rarely see a more dramatic 5,000 metres than that. It was sensational, live and exclusive here in Doha.
Well, Edris did not show anything all season long, and he didn't show as much in that final either. With two laps to go, he looked like he was struggling, but he must have just kept that belief. And I think he may be a surprise of any of us here in this stadium. He's retained that World Championship title, and the crowd, the Ethiopian crowd, fantastic scenes there. So many flags flying around the stadium. Cameras out, people will remember where they were at this moment. Edris, a fantastic, fantastic gold medal there for Ethiopia. And Berega, his teammate, claiming the silver and a fantastic medal for Ahmed. He fully, fully deserved it. Did a lot of work, three or four laps out. He's got another medal for Canada. They're having a great championships already on day four of this World Athletics final. Look at these images. There are many, many thousands of East Africans in this stadium. There are people here, they are watching, they are enjoying it, and they realise they've witnessed a really special race. Just over three miles, and it was utterly absorbing from start to finish. The fourth evening has been lit up by this incredible Ethiopian who somehow, from somewhere, found the form he produced two years ago to beat Mo Farah to win the title once again. Great scenes here in Doha. It was just inside 13 minutes. Quite frankly, who cares about the time? That had a little bit of everything. And I noticed Philip Ingebrigtsen stepped off the track with 500 to go. I think the two other brothers had said, listen, you're the one who's got the chance. We'll do everything to put you in pole position. He was brave, Jakob Ingebrigtsen, but it just wasn't quite to be for him. But what a run and what teamwork from the Ethiopians. Yeah, they've still got energy, haven't they? And Edris looked like he had no energy earlier in the race, but he can still find the energy to do his victory lap. He was dancing at the end, and this is being really appreciated by the crowd here. Oh, this is the making of a champion. When you look dead and buried in a race, you've not had the season you wanted, and you can still come back and perform like that. What a race and what a finish. Mukhtar Idris becomes only the third man in history to successfully defend the title. Salomon Borega took the silver and a true moment of history for the Canadians. Mohamed Ahmad completes the podium. Bekele, the fastest man in the world this year, misses out. So too does the brave European champion Jakob Ingebrigtsen, fifth this time for him.